Welcome back. So let's get started with our actual testing right here. So what we're going to do is we're going to run the, the Angular CLI command called ng-test. And that's kind of the way you start the actual test framework inside your Angular application right here. Let's try and run it. So you'll notice what happens is it does a lot of compilation. It actually creates our application and it runs the test against that application. And it pops up with a window looking something like this inside Chrome. So this is what actually happens right here. It shows me a full overview right here about what actually goes well and what actually failed inside our test right now. And that's again because I already have a running application. So a lot of the things that are pre-built, they just don't work anymore. They start failing right now. So we have to figure all of that out. I'm already using some services here and there. I'm already using um, some information. These are easy ones to fix where I'm, I'm changing names inside my H1 tags and stuff like that. So there's a lot of stuff in my code already that we need to fix before we can even start writing some proper tests, right? So that's kind of where we need to start. Now this lesson, what I want to do is just get rid of this first very, very simple error right here and just try and show you how I can, from this setup right here, I can read what actually goes wrong. So what we're going to do is we're going to try and fix this error right here that says something about the app component should render title in a H1 tag. So it expected that the module app test should contain an H1 tag that says welcome to module test app. So it seems that I've changed that somehow and we need to kind of figure that out. So now that we've found our first error we want to fix, let's try and jump into our code and see how everything is actually built in here. First of all, you need to know that each of your files right here, each component file right now, if you use the Angular CLI to create them, they will create both the component file and a spec file. So these two kind of belong together. The spec file, that's your test file. That's the file that tests the component, right? And right now, we have set a title in the component called module test app. So that's the title that you see inside the HTML. Let's try and check the HTML right here. You'll notice the title is right here and it's an H1 tag. And it says, if I go back to the component, it says module test app. But if I look at the test right here, it seems it expected it should say, welcome to module test app, not module test app, right? So how does it know that? How do we, how do we set that up? How does it test? that that should be the title because we need to change it. We don't want it to say welcome to, we just want it to say module test app, just like it does right here in the component or else, of course it should fail. So let, we have two choices. We can just start writing welcome to test app here, but no, 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 we want to fix the test instead. So let's jump into the spec file that is the test. And let's have a look at this. Now we won't dive into the test file yet. We'll go back to it soon, but let's just try and see if we can fix this error we're looking at right here. First of all, this is a test file and there's a lot of things going on right here and we'll dive into all the configuration and stuff like that later on. So this is your first test right here. It says we should be able to create the component. Yeah, that also works. It says your title should be module test app. And yes, the title is module test app. So if I look again at the component, module test app. But for some reason, it should render that title inside an H1 tag, okay? But right here in the code, it says, I expect that the H1 tag contains the information, welcome to module test app, but it doesn't. No, because it only says module test app. So let's go and change that just for the fun of it right here. Instead of say welcome to, I say I expect that that title in the H1 tag is actually just module test app. I save it, I go back, and hopefully it'll re-render in a second. There we go. Notice I didn't do any refresh here. Automatically it actually went in there and made the test as soon as I did the save. Just like you're used to when you're changing anything in the Angular application, it automatically reruns the tests. As long as your terminal is running, it automatically reruns the test and tries to fix the issue. And Karma automatically shows you the new information right here. So now there's only four failures and we'll dive into the next failure in the next lesson. Again, I know I've not explained yet all of the magic that happens, or all of the things we need to fix, but let's just start off by cleaning this up and then we'll dive into how we can actually make new tests and how the test actually works. But again, we just fixed the first issue right here, which was the H1 tag should contain some specific text and right now it said welcome and we changed it into only being module test app. And that works now because we have a component that says the title should be module test app and the HTML says, I just want to present the title inside an H1 tag. And that's why now this test runs and works perfectly. Next lesson, we'll dive into the next problem. See you next time. Have fun.